barely see one. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with another quick video. This one is on the Capra setup. Um had a lot of people kinda asking or saying they wouldn't mind seeing the the build of my Capra. And then um I've had several people asking how I mounted this body. So I figured I'd just do a quick little video on the Capra, um, maybe likes and dislikes and some of the things I've did to mine. Um, depending on where I'm running, I kind of run different wheels and tires. These are the 2.2 high racks. Um, I really just bought the high racks because so many people run them. I wanted to see what the craze was and they're okay. They're not like, to me, they're not just the greatest performer ever like a lot of people make them out to be but um they do well and for my 2.2s i'm usually launching off of stuff or trying to go through big holes and that sort of thing and uh and they seem to work for a lot of stuff like this So really the 2.2s, you know, that's more what I use them for is um, when we're maybe in the creeks and I know it's going to be big gaps, big rocks and that sort of thing. Um, I'm running the Proline dual stage foams in here. I cut them all to pieces. Um, I actually think I have these on wrong from what I like. Normally I run these in the rear. They're a little softer. Um I threw them on in a quick hurry yesterday. We did some running, but um, they seem to work pretty good. I like the Crawler Innovations better. Um, I don't know, it just seemed like they, they were more what I wanted right away versus I had to really cut on these Pro Lines. The wheels are just some Amazon specials. That's basically all I buy. Here's the 1.9s I usually run. Um, the deep woods this is a 2.2 wheel with the 1.9 tire stretched over it i really like the bigger wheel it just looks cool to me but sometimes you get this weird where the tire like goes to one side or the other on you sometimes when you're crawling like that so sometimes it's not the greatest but um i've been running them like that and just really like them so probably not going to change that let's see this body so this body basically let's just get rid of this the body is one of the rc four-wheel drive bodies um so basically it's been cut down the middle and made it just a little more narrow and then the hood's been cut down so that it fits directly on the Capra. All it's holding this on is one of the original screws to the body here and here on each side. So it has this one, this one, one over there, and one right there. And I've sent this thing off some massive stuff. Nice. Oh, I ain't got no power now. Dang. Rolled it down like a 50 foot cliff yesterday, like hillside. Um, luckily, it was covered in a lot of leaves. 
but this thing still took out a tree probably about that big around i mean obviously it was dead but broke it off on the way down hit the creek bottom and it's been fine i did crack the right there not yesterday on that but once before it wasn't stitched up real well so now i got some epoxy on it and it's holding most let's see the shocks i really it took me a little bit to figure out my shocks i had the desert lizards um the 100 millimeter they were just too long i didn't really like that tweaked them around did this and that and just couldn't get them how i wanted um i love them on my gen 8 now i moved them to it and they're perfect on the gen 8 these are the Traxxas big bores with the low c mini t springs Let's see if we can pull these off see some of this better so you can see i got them mounted upside down really don't matter i just figured whatever a little bit more weight down low and they just fit up in there real good that way so that's how we're running them love this setup love these shocks definitely finally got this truck how i wanted it it, it took me a long time to get it what i wanted it to do where it was still really capable but sits low enough that it it goes and uh i don't really see me changing anything on it for a while um other than i may be adding rear steer um just to do it but i don't know how much i'll really use that um you see i have the kyx outer covers here basically just because that's what was available and i was a little aggravated with the the trill cover i got so i bought the kyx of these um the problem with this cover you can't really tell it just sitting here but when it's running i give it throttle the bearing is so loose in there it like almost it would fall out if this drive shaft didn't hold it in um it's just so loose when i give it throttle you can just watch the bearing bounce back and forth um so that's kind of aggravating i uh emailed trail about it never heard back from them so that's uh why i'm usually aggravated at trail but they have a lot of stuff that i really like i love the the black brass of course you can see it gets scuffed up but it looks really cool to start with vader skid two reasons i got that really one it kind of well it definitely flattens this out quite a bit and i wanted to run a 10 scale servo um, for my dig so with this skid you can do that so that's really awesome got rid of the uh, crappy dig servo um, i could have put a reese 99 in there probably been fine but these little amazon special servos that I'm running right here. I don't know if that's going to focus. They're like 35 bucks. And they're awesome. Turns these 2.2s like nothing. Really good. The only problem I have with this one is they come with an aluminum arm. And I stripped it out. Um, this is a GH racing one on here now. I stripped it out because I was launching it off of stuff, so probably would have been fine. Normal crawling. Club 5, high clearance links. Just gets a little extra clearance there. They've been pretty solid. I stripped one of them out, one of the ends. Looks like I need to tighten that one. Stripped one of the ends out, and um, they were quick to send me two more ends, like super fast soon as i contacted them that day i heard from them and like two days later i had them so really good customer service for club five club five racing 
if you go to look those up. What are these, like GPM drive shafts? I got these because when I put my high clearance links on, these were just a little bit longer, it stretched your wheelbase. My stock shafts would just fall out. Um, the stock plastic drive shafts, the center, would just fall out. They um, wasn't long enough. So these GPMs have been awesome. Really, really happy with those. Um, I kind of bought them just because they were fairly cheap and looked like they would be long enough and they've worked perfect not a single issue i'm running these wheel weights i have these stainless steel looking ones in the front and the brass ones in the back uh, i don't know how well you can see them this thing is let evil equaled out pretty well i can't remember i checked it before it's right at that 60 40 mark like almost dead on it it's pretty crazy because i didn't really check it until i had it built but um it does just as good for the most part going downhill as it does up so super happy with the weight distribution on it i can't even see it <laughs> Probably be even better with the just the regular old body, but probably gonna take this body off, give it a break for a little while. I've been hard on it lately. I have another little uh, power wagon cab I hacked up and slap on there just to beat around with and that sort of thing. I'm running the Fly Sky GT5 transmitter with this. Main reason. So I just like the feel of it better. But I also liked, um, I have my lights on here, which I just killed my light bar. Broke the wires out of it the other day, so lights don't work now. Got to get that fixed. And then I put, I put the dig on this three-way switch here. And so what that allows me to do is run four-wheel drive. Then I can go free wheel. So the front will pull and the rear will just free wheel or I can go all the way down and it's locked and that's the front pulling and the rear is completely locked so it honestly the free wheels not near as handy as I thought it would be um, but it's cool and thought anyways I guess but it it hasn't been like super helpful in any particular spot but it's interesting anyways something else to play around with the free will everything else on this thing has been solid i was a little aggravated when i got it that like the axles were made like they are you know for this inner c hub here you can't just replace that it's it's in built into the the whole axle casing so but it hasn't been a big deal it's been super strong so i don't care if it don't break i'm all good with it and i ended up i didn't really need the weight of brass or anything on there anyways so it's all good i have the hobby wing fusion all-in-one motor esc combo i think it's 1800 kv i think that's all they had it's been great it stalls out a little bit with these 2.2s um, 11 tooth pinion on there and sometimes when i get in a big bind it'll just kind of and stall out but it's probably better than it just ripping drive shafts or you know axles and stuff so 
it's kind of the the limit that I need. Um, Because if I have the unlimited power, I'm just going to hit it until something breaks. So it works about right for me. The power is there when I need it. You'll see here, like on this hill climb. So it's got good power, especially with the 1.9s. Um, it does amazing. And the biggest part of the time I'm running 1.9s, but I like to throw the big tires on every now and then and uh, give her hell, I guess. <laughs> That's pretty much it, I believe. Normally I run something like this in it. These Z packs are awesome. I've not had any problems out of these little Z packs. Um, the 1500, this is 100C. They fit in there. It's tight for the batteries, but these fit easily. Um, I have ran this Gen's Ace 4300. 4300. It's all I can do to fit this in there. It's a tight fit, but it runs and runs on this 4300. So, um, it's a good battery. It's just very, very tight. Like, I really don't like putting the battery in that tight of a spot, honestly, because it's hard on the wires and stuff. So, I just use this for my Gen 8 a lot. I have four or five of these. And it's usually enough. So, those are good packs. They're usually on Amazon. Uh, I did put the plus eight millimeter hex on here when I first got this and I was running these weights. I was having some clearance issues. The weights inside the wheels here, these especially, they're super thick. We're rubbing on this cover. So that plus eight brought it out just a little bit or I, it's not actually a plus eight, I don't believe. It's an eight millimeter, so, um, but it brought it out still the normal little thin hex that's on there. It got me the clearance I needed. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions on the Capra, let me know for sure. I will put some running clips in here, and I appreciate everybody watching, subscribing, all that stuff. We're already rolling up just peaking at that 2000 mark that's insane to me um i have some drift stuff i'm working on got something really cool to show off with the drift car uh and always the sex 24 stuff i have an unlimited amount of stuff that i could be doing to my sex 24s right now like i get a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of um parts and stuff i have right now that i need to install and test and i just I know once the weather really starts sucking around here and it's snowing and freezing cold and that sort of thing, I'm going to be all indoors with those. So right now I'm kind of enjoying the nice days with the 10 scales outside. And this winter, I'm sure it'll be mostly 24 scale. So, uh, oh yeah, on these, I'm running the pink springs in the front, orange in the rear. Um, I'm slightly colorblind, so that's uh, always interesting to figure out what I'm colored springs <laughs> but uh yep so let's throw some running clips in here and i appreciate everybody peace
<laughs> they're messing you up. Yo, they are they snagging my tire and everything. <laughs> I ain't gonna be able to pull it back out of that either. Can't see where I'm going, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> oh, that was sweet. Came back down. <laughs> That's one of those fun little crawls here. Yeah. Wow. Whoa, that was cool. <laughs>